I'm starting this process about three months out. It takes about like three months to get credentialed. So, you know, after you have actually like truly graduated from PA school, you're gonna have to take the pants. Doing my dance, hey. I'm doing my dance, don't mind me. I'm doing my dance. What's up, you guys? Hey, look, Welcome back to my dance. channel. So, for those of you who are new, um, I make PA and like PA school related content. So, if you're interested in PA school or just interested in me, <laughs> As a person, please take a look around my channel. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. All right, and also follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. So for this video, I'm gonna be talking about does your PA school help you find a job? Because as some of you know, I will be graduating, like getting my long white coat in a few short months. <laughs> If you know somebody who's looking to hire a PA, I'm specifically in OBGYN or women's health, but you know, I'm open to some other fields as well, like emergency medicine, primary care, P, just hit a sister up, let me know, um, and let them know that, hey, I am looking for a job. But back to our regularly scheduled, back to our regularly scheduled programming. So I am looking for a job, but I, I have to find this job myself. Um, somebody was asking me, hey, does your school help you find a job? And the answer is no. So um, for me, it's a little bit like sticky because my program does a fellowship. So technically, they do help you find a job if you are interested in the fellowship program. They will match you with a particular fellowship site. Um, so it's a lot easier of a process. You know, you still have to interview, you still have to go through that whole like, you know, putting down what specialties you're, in, uh, you're interested in. And then you would interview with those specialties if they are also interested in you. And you know, if you match, you match. But uh, other than that, the answer is no. So with respect to finding a job, you have to do that on your own. And for me, you know, I'm starting like three months early. There are other people that may start six months early. I think anything beyond that is way too early because you still have a long ways to go. And I mean, who knows? Like you could fail an EOR for all you know, like, I mean, God forbid, but yeah, you may fail an EOR. So then you have to retake it and what, what now? Right, so I think it's important that you actually like give yourself a little bit of a buffer to try to find a job and get these interviews going, but at the same time, you know, be smart and strategic about it. So for me, I'm starting this process about three months out. It takes about like three months to get credentialed. So, you know, after you have actually like truly graduated from PA school, you're gonna have to take the pan. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous. Since some people take it like immediately as soon as they can, which is like a week after you've graduated, while others take it, you know, a month to two months after and they're out there you know living their best life um vacation life waiting to then come and take the pants and then look for a job so it's important that you are mindful of all of that you know that whole process and and the waiting game that you're gonna have to do because uh in that time you're not in school and then you're not making any money either so for me i plan on taking it as soon as i can and with that, I wanna have a job already lined up prior to getting out of PA school. So that's why I am starting three months early. I think that it is very, very important for you to make sure that your CV is like on point and that you're highlighting the things that you did in your clinical year that you know maybe some other students did not have experience in doing. With respect to also like finding a job, um, I think that it's important that you are you know pretty particular and picky in the types of jobs. I know like we're getting out of PA school and I was like, man, I'll take anything, but you have to make sure that it's something that you're going to like and that you're going to be actually happy with because you don't want to get a job. And then like three months later, you're trying to quit this job because that's not like the precedent that you want to set. Because then now when you're trying to go to another job, it's like, well, why did you just stay at this job for three year, um, three months? Right. Um, so it's important to ensure that with respect to your job, choosing or as you're choosing you know which job you're going to apply to and then also ultimately which job you actually accept that you're very picky with it and you're particular and you make sure that is something that you want and so all that to say no my school and pa schools do not help you find a job um, some may have like these little built-in things here and there that technically help you find a job but typically no they do not um, you're looking for a job on your own and you should 
start looking anywhere from like three to four months out before you graduate so that you can have that thing lined up right when you graduate, right after you take the pants and you can get your credentialing done quickly. If you have any other questions for me, please be sure to leave it in the comment section below. If you haven't already done so, like this video, follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!